Hey, thanks for tuning in again to uh, my channel, the PMR TV. Um, I've got my long-standing friend, uh, Ron Madra, with me, and we are pretty excited. We're going to be doing a, uh, a workshop uh, in the Galapagos Islands in May of 2022. And uh, I have never been there. Ron, is, how many times have you been there? I've been down, uh, this will be my fifth time. Fifth time. Down. So he's an expert. Like, we're both professional photographers, but... I, I can't wait to go there. And it's like everybody that goes with Galapagos comes home and says, I'm a changed person. It's like this amazing, crazy, unbelievable place. And there's all these animals and birds and, and reptiles and stuff that you can't find anywhere else. Um, or at least there's so many species there. It's like slammed on these, on these this archipelago. So anyway, what I, I wanted to do with this video is basically ask Ron to kind of tell me what we're going to be doing, and then if anybody else is out there in YouTube land that wants to go with us, at the uh, in the description below, you're going to be able to like click a link and then go right in and sign up and come with us. So that's the that's the idea. So uh, what I wanted to do is just talk about um, what what is how do we get there, Ron? Well, it's a really relatively easy way to get down there. It's, uh, you, it's you Ecuador, fly into right? Ecuador. Yes, okay. you could fly either into Guayaquil or Quito. Okay. And then you stay overnight. Okay. Uh, and then you fly from there. So does it take like all day to get there? Well, depending on where you're coming from, what it is, is you can't get into the Galapagos all in one day because okay. you end up okay. having to go to Guayaquil or Quito and then you stay overnight at the airport and then you fly, fly. into the um, uh, into San Cristobal the next okay. morning. Pat, what we're going to be doing, which I really like and a lot of people that I've taken there have liked it, is that we are a land-based workshop which is different because most workshops are boat based. most right? of them are boat based okay and so what we're going to do is obviously we're not going to go to the some of the islands in the outermost okay part of the galapagos but what we are going to do is we are going to go and take you to the spots where you can see the best wildlife okay. that the galapagos has to offer okay and we're going to do it all out of uh san cristobal and then at night after the excursion we can come back and we'll be at the hotel and there's a number of really really great restaurants where you can get a quality okay. meal and uh that's uh, that's how we're and let's back up a second so this workshop is you got to get to you got to get to the galapagos right yeah and then it's then we pick you up and, and we it's will kind of, meet like, you we at provide the, the hotel yeah we will we will uh meet you at the airport okay. and, and san cristobal and from the airport to the hotel is about three minutes. So, oh my gosh! Yeah, so it's incredible. I read convenient. that there's only twenty five thousand people in all of the Galapagos. It's not a lot of people. No, it's right? not a lot of people. And San Cristobal, along with um, Santa Cruz, are the two most okay, inhabited those are the islands. Okay, cities. Okay, gotcha. And so, but we have uh, elected to go to uh, 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 San Cristobal. I made some friends down there now, boat captains, and some people that are going to be working with us. Mm -hmm. And um, it's 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 absolutely. It was a dream come true for me, too. I mean, when this yeah. was presented to me a number of years ago, um, I, I just jumped right on it. And so uh, yeah. uh, when I got down there, it was just abs absolutely remarkable. And both of us coming out of kind of a sports background. Yeah, newspapers, you know, sports, yeah. M moving into the uh, wildlife uh, genre of photography was, was incredibly exciting. And what we're going to do is... One of the things that I like to emphasize with this workshop is not getting too wrapped up with just photographing the birds, but making environmental uh, images also to show like a sense of place. That so we landscapes. Landscapes. So it's not just so, but we're going to be able to do reptiles, birds, water, water creatures, right? Birds in flight. Yes. What we're going to do is we are going to see. I mean, it's like a Super Bowl of like it nature is. photography, it is. right? It really is. We're going to see the legendary blue-footed boobies. Okay. Everybody comes down there for that. Boobies. We're going to see red-footed boobies. We're going to see the Natchez boobies. We're going to see a number of uh, iguana species, you know, and okay. so that we're going to see all of that. One of the highlights, I think, is to go to uh, Santa Cruz, and we're going to go to a preserve and photograph these giant tortoises that are over a hundred oh. years old, and we're going to see them in their natural environment. That's like the symbol of the Galapagos. It is the symbol it? of the Those, Galapagos. Yeah, we're going to yeah. see that. We are then going to take you on an incredible trip to Island of Hispanola, and the time of the year that we're planning this workshop, uh, it's the only time of the year where you can see the waved albatrosses 
on the nest and in flight. Now again, we got to say that you know uh, we're dealing with wild animals here, so there's some leeway yeah. with with. Uh, um, but it's a target-rich environment. But it's a target-rich environment, <laughs> and um, I tell you, the, the people that I've taken down there have absolutely fallen in love, like me. I have fallen in love with the Galapagos, and I've fallen in love with uh, San Cristobal in, in particular. Okay. So part of what we're going to be doing is Ron is, of course, the sort of expert on this. He's been five times. This will be a sixth trip, I guess. And um, I'm going also because I'm interested in all of this. I I'm really pumped about, you know, not having to have a press pass or a parking pass to go someplace. Now, you got a plane ticket, right, for this one, but you still. Ticket, yeah. uh, but just the access to, like, that's one th question I want to ask you about is, like, what are the less lenses to bring? What, like, how close are we going to get to things? I say bring whatever you have. Okay. But okay. you don't have to have a 600 millimeter lens. You okay. don't have to have a, a 400, 28, All right. any of that sort of thing. Um, I use um, wide angle lenses. And I, I just uh, uh, have the Sony uh, 200 to 600. Oh, yeah, that's the, and the universal And I think that lens, is just going right? to be an absolute, absolutely Nice phenomenal. and lightweight, but nice still a legit yeah. 600, right? Yeah, when you need just it. 600. And okay. so uh, I, that's what I plan on using down there. But the uh, wildlife, are, are, they're just not intimidated by anyone. You can okay. walk right up. Now, they'll, they'll let you know if you're a little bit too close, okay. uh, especially... Uh, the birds, if they're on the nest, yeah. with small ones. But again, the, you'll be able to get okay. uh, extremely close. This okay. is not one of these things where we're, sh we're shooting these birds a mile away. It's just it just doesn't okay. happen. Gotcha, gotcha. How much time are we gonna actually have on the ground shooting there? We're gonna have seven full days of shooting. Okay. There'll be a travel day in, travel, travel day out. out right. So, but we'll be on the ground. Uh, We'll be on the ground running. Uh, we're going to start. Okay. Uh, the, we're going to start the excursion and the photo uh, workshop day one. Okay, gotcha. And I'm going to be around. Uh, you know, I'm a Sony artisan, and I'll be helping people with the cameras. Now, I used to shoot Nikon and Canon, so I'm happy to help anybody with whatever you bring. I can help you with it. Uh, lens selection and like trying to figure out. Even little post, we're going to be doing some uh, critique sessions, correct? Yes, we're going to try to get in a couple of uh, uh, image review. Right. So we can uh, make sure that everybody's on the right page. Mm -hmm. Everybody's going home with what uh, uh, the photographs they, they had hoped to go home with. I mean, one of the things that I, I don't want is I don't want people to be disappointed when they leave the Galapagos. This is a once in a lifetime photo opportunity and I just want to make sure that between the two of us, you are going to be able to maximize yeah. uh, all the opportunities that are presented to you. So we can uh, you know, look at these images and make sure that, that you're getting exactly the images that you hope to go home with. Yeah, we kind of want to guarantee your success. I mean, if you're going to you know, get all this together and take this time, uh, we're going to make it, you know, give you a lot of bang for your buck. We're going to absolutely try to put you yeah. in the right location at the right time. Um, so um, Now tell us about these guides, because you're, you're like on a first name basis. So that you know these people. That I do know these people. With. I do know these people. Of the trips that I've went down there, I have a boat captain that I'm going to be using, and I have a couple of uh, the uh, naturalists that I'm going to be using. Okay. And these people are so knowledgeable. Um, they can answer any question that you have um, about the Galapagos, about the wildlife. Uh, about so they're going to help us with like the zoological aspects. Yeah, absolutely. We're going to know, hey, yeah. that's really unusual. You should shoot that or whatever. We, we have a naturalist with us everywhere we go. It's okay. mandatory in, in um, the Galapagos that we have one with okay. us. Okay. And so gotcha. they're with us on the hikes. They're with us on uh, the boats. They're with us uh, okay. wherever we go. So it's... Now talk uh, about what's the, what's the ratio of hiking and being on a boat and we're going to get on a boat off a boat kind we of are thing. uh we're going to be most of the places that we go to we have to take uh we go by boat okay uh, except we're going to do a little bit of uh exploring on um san cristobal itself but other than that every day we're going to go out uh, by boat it's going to be uh about a 20 passenger boat we're going to have it to ourselves we have a boat Sweet. captain we have a mate okay. we're going to have the uh um, naturalist with us we're going to serve lunch on the boat oh and so uh um, 
uh, it's it's uh, it's a well-rounded uh, okay. excursion. Gotcha. Uh, so, but one of the things is a lot. Of, I, I got to remember, you're in the Galapagos. This is not like going, no. you know, yeah. things. So, a lot of the places, it's it's about a two-hour boat ride uh, to the places that we go to. But along the way, either there or coming back, we stop. You're able to get out and snorkel. Uh, swim with so the, the sea lions, so you're going to be able okay. to get in the water. If you got underwater cameras and that sort of thing, you're going to be able to photograph the sea lions underwater. They'll come up and play with you and that sort of wow. thing. So wow. um, it's a pretty cool trip. So besides the photography aspect of it, you're going to be able to get in there, do some snorkeling okay. and, and that sort of thing. So it's uh, it's not your basic nine to five uh, photo workshop where we're just pounding you, pounding you, just doing okay. the pictures all day. So. We go to the islands and we were on each one of these islands for a couple hours and then we come back and uh, then you can get showered and then, uh, you know, ha have a meal and something. But it's, uh, it's What's the weather like there in May? What, do, what should we expect? It's beautiful. It's not, it's not extremely hot. There's it's not like around the, on the equator, right? It's on the equator. Right, cool. I, you know, but we have had, we've had phenomenal weather. And uh, cool. one of the things that I also like to do is at the end of the day, um, this is something that I kind of stumbled upon on, on my, my first trip down there, is that in the harbor itself, in, in San Cristobal, there it's uh, water taxis are all over the place. Okay. And this is what we're going to probably start off with day one after we have our introduction meeting and our orientation and that sort of thing. We're going to do a, a bit of a, a walkabout down there by the Malacan. Uh, and then we're going to get in, uh, load up on a couple of water taxis, and we're going to go, and we're going to go around the harbor, and we're going to go around part of the shoreline, and that's where you're going to see your first encounters with the blue-footed booby. And <laughs> I like I like it because it's uh, we we get close to shore. You're going to get kind of an introduction to what the Galapagos is, okay. and the water taxi guys are so incredibly helpful. Yeah, and they'll take us you know, where we want to go. There's some old boats out in the harbor so they know the, they know exactly they, the, uh, yeah the uh, uh sea lions will be laying on them and you'll okay. be able to make some kind of nice images Sweet. on that so that that's uh what i like to do and you can do that every night if you want to if you haven't if you haven't had your fill of shooting okay. during the day you can always grab one of these water taxi guys uh, for a couple of bucks and they'll take you around they'll take you around talk about way. food what's the food like down there fantastic we okay. have our, there's uh, sushi restaurants, there's Italian, there's burgers, okay. um, just just about anything you want. You it's, had me at burgers. Yeah, <laughs> so if you're a burger guy, um, it's the, the food's fantastic. Are they yeah. blue eye booby burgers? No, these no, are meat burgers. No, they're not. Okay. No, right, no, cool. <laughs> We're not going to kill the wildlife. <laughs> right, right, exactly. We're not going to drive you get around. in big One trouble, right? Giant iguanas and eat him. So, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, no, the food's fantastic. Uh, the hotels are fantastic. Uh, I, I, it's just. I can't say it. It's just, it's an incredible, incredible trip. And I can't I think wait. that you're going to enjoy it. I'm and, really uh, pumped. I wish uh, May would come quicker. Yeah. And so we've, we've been down there a number of times. We, we have this thing laid out and uh, it's just, we'd love you to join us. You know, now, what's the maximum number for the the Galapagos? It's uh, the, our maximum number is 12. And that's because we bought out a hotel. Like we everything out, is really small. Everything is small. So, we yeah. bought out the hotel, and again, we can only take twelve people on the boats with us. And right. then we have because okay. we have the captain gotcha. and the mate, and so uh, you know we have to keep we have to keep the group to twelve. Gotcha. Gotcha. These these pictures that you know we've been looking at throughout the video are amazing, Ron. And I'm really well, excited you. to make my own pictures. You know, I can't wait to get there and like put my twist on it. Well, I'm, you I'm know pumped. what? It's just uh, and again. Everybody kind of views these things, even wildlife and landscape photography. Everybody has a different eye. Mm -hmm. Everybody looks at these things differently. Uh, and again, what, what we like to emphasize with the workshops, and this is what I like to do, is I like you to put your stamp on right. your type of photography. Right. And so that's what um, I'm there to help you with. I both have shot Nikon and Canon. I've switched mm -hmm. over to Sony. Uh, thanks to Patrick here, and so uh, and Don. <laughs> but I have, uh, uh, can help you uh, with composition and that sort of thing. So uh, to and again, I want to emphasize: we want you to come back with some extraordinarily yeah. strong yeah. images from the Galapagos of wildlife and the landscape. Down so there. I just want to circle back around to like talking about the gear. Really, what do you need? And uh, like it sounds like to me like twenty four seventy two eight G Master seventy two hundred G Master, and then maybe a two to six if you had the, had the 
the bread to is that that is that but is which right one do you on think you're gonna shoot the most i when i was down there the last time and i was still shooting nikon my 24 to 120 was the okay. lens that i used okay almost exclusively so maybe 24 105 would yeah be awesome. 24 to 105 uh, Maybe yeah. twenty four one hundred five and two to six. Would and be I the way used to go. my two lenses. I, yeah, I used my uh, my longer lens for birds in flight. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. But again, these animals are not intimidated by you. You're right, going to be right. able to get up there, and you're going to be able to use a, a wide angle lens, and they're Crazy. just going to sit there and pose for you. Wow, it's, it's absolutely wow. extraordinary. And then there's got to be like flowers down there, and if you want to do macro stuff, there's got to be all kinds of other things too, right? Yeah, there's you know it's yeah. it has everything that you, you want to do. offer photographically, okay. cool. you know. And all so, right. but again, primarily, we're going down there to show you um, the Galapagos wildlife. Okay, and cool. to help cool. you come back with some great pictures. Well, I can't wait, man. Um, but thanks so much for watching. This is Ron Madra and Pat Murphy Racy saying thanks so much and hope you'll join us uh, to the Gop Glopkos in May of 2022. It's going to be a great trip. Yeah. Don't Just miss check, it. check the link below to find the, your way to the website where you can sign up. Thank you. All right. Are oh, you putting a love cup in there? Well, yeah, man. You know, I love you, man. <laughs> It's all good. That was really. You funny never know when, what people. That was really funny when we, you know. That people see everything in these videos. Here laughing That's weird. At the, at the smoky thing. Oh, it was great, huh? Because that see that sets a tone for people yeah. going. Oh, I want to hang out with those guys. And then you know, you know what? what? <laughs> I I suspect once you get this up, that we're gonna get we're gonna get some people rolling in. Probably will. You know, probably will. Or we'll get the people on the fence to go. I gotta go to that. Yeah. You know. All right. So I'm okay. gonna go ahead and start. Okay, you start. Um, let's see here.